Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been making headlines in the tech world. India's semiconductor ambitions. See, India's been a powerhouse in software and IT services for years. But when it comes to semiconductors, they've been lagging behind, heavily reliant on imports. So, in this video, we're going to break down the key factors that have held back India's semiconductor sector. All right, first things first. Building semiconductors is not for the faint of heart. We're talking billions to set up state-of-the-art fabs. These fabs are high-tech clean rooms where dust can ruin chips. The equipment is precise and expensive. Without strong government backing, it's tough to justify these investments. Next up, let's talk infrastructure. Semiconductor manufacturing is incredibly demanding, requiring a constant, uninterrupted supply of high-quality power access to ultra-pure water and specialized logistics. Frankly, India's infrastructure hasn't always been able to keep up. Power outages and water shortages can bring production to a grinding halt and scare away potential investors. You need a robust foundation to support this kind of advanced manufacturing. India's got no shortage of brilliant software engineers. But semiconductor manufacturing requires deep expertise in hardware engineering and materials science. India's making strides but still catching up to Taiwan and South Korea. It's like world-class programmers building a rocket from scratch. They'll figure it out, but it takes time and learning. Next one, is India really an innovation nation? The need to ramp up R&D. India's got pockets of excellence in chip design and some serious talent in semiconductor-related research. But compared to the big players, their R&D ecosystem is still relatively small. To compete globally, you need a thriving R&D ecosystem, constantly churning out new technologies and breakthroughs. If you're always a few generations behind in terms of technology, you're always going to be playing catch-up. Another challenge is of breaking the chains by reducing import dependency. India imports a huge chunk of its semiconductors, making them heavily reliant on other countries. This is risky during global shortages or geopolitical tensions. Building a local manufacturing base is crucial for India to control its tech destiny. Another missing link is of building a local supply chain. Let's talk about the semiconductor supply chain for a second. It's not just about building the chips themselves, it's about having a robust ecosystem of suppliers, from raw materials to specialized equipment to testing facilities. Setting up a complete semiconductor supply chain from scratch is a massive undertaking. It's complex, time-consuming, and expensive. Another aspect is that of government boost can policies level the playing field. The good news is that the Indian government has recognized these challenges. They've been rolling out new policies and incentives to attract investments in semiconductor manufacturing. Tax breaks, subsidies, you name it, they're offering it. But the question is, will it be enough to lure in the big players and help them catch up? Next is the bigger challenge of competing with global giants, facing the titans of tech. The semiconductor industry is dominated by giants like Taiwan, South Korea and China. These guys have been at it for decades. They've got the experience, the infrastructure, and the massive scale. It's like a new startup trying to compete with Apple or Samsung. India's got to find a way to differentiate itself, carve out its niche in this competitive landscape. Now let's look at the future of India's semiconductor journey. Can India become a semiconductor powerhouse? The journey is challenging, but not impossible. The Indian government is boosting the sector with initiatives like the India Semiconductor Mission and incentives to attract global companies. They're offering financial support for manufacturing facilities and encouraging joint ventures with global players. India focuses on chip design, packaging and testing to establish a semiconductor ecosystem. Stay tuned for more on our value investing channel. Happy investing!